Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but on Twitter last week a lot of people were throwing out their VGC 2020 tier lists, and I have to say some of them were crimes. Some of them were crimes in my opinion. A lot of them excluded a certain somebody that we all know to be, well not amazing, but he's just okay. You know, I, I kind of proved he was just okay. I'm ready to throw my opinion out there. I meant to do this last week, but I got a little sidetracked with a couple of other videos that I was working on and some projects that are coming up. So I'm excited to bring you guys this video. I'm not going to be going through every single pick. I think I'm just going to cut to the parts that I think are interesting. And you'll sort of see Pokemon appear on the list that I don't really explain because I'm just cutting out parts that I feel like weren't interesting enough for like a 15 minute video. But it might even be 20 minutes. Every time I say I want it to be 15 minutes, it ends up being 20 minutes. But if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. And thank you to Ethan Lowe for turning on notifications. You are now Moxie boosted. Let's try to hit like 150 likes for this video. Maybe 200 if you guys are really feeling generous. Guys, please give me likes. I'm like a very sad individual. If I don't get likes, I feed off of the social media attention. And answer my comment question today, which is what do you think about this tier list? If you guys want to do me a favor, I will link this tier list maker in the description for you guys. Tweet at me your tier list that you make and let me know what you guys think about mine in the comment section down below. But let's go ahead and get into it. First off, I'm going to make some edits to this tier list. I don't think S, A, B, C, D are good enough. They just aren't really accurate descriptors of what we're seeing here. Okay, I think I have what I believe are accurate descriptors for this format. Let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of everything that isn't legal. Uh, and I'm not sure what that is. So as I come across it, you'll just see them appear and not legal. All right, so Venusaur, not legal. Blastoise, not legal. We'll just get those two out of the way. So Gigantamax Charizard, I think we all saw that Gigantamax Charizard is like really good at dishing out damage and like just it racks up as the turns go and it isn't just on the Pokemon that it hits, it doesn't trap them, but it like racks up damage as a hazard and that's so, so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not, I don't think it's S tier, but I definitely think it's an A tier Pokemon, especially since it's going to get solar power really soon. Solar power is already legal on uh, ranked double battles, but it's not legal in VGC yet. However... It's, it's going to happen eventually, and when it does, this thing's going to be an absolute monster. I'm going to go ahead and put Charizard right next to it on A tier. Uh, it's really, really strong uh, with its solar power boost. It's also able to boost its speed with uh, max airstream, as well as the speed of its partners. Butterfree, I'm going to go ahead and put as a solid B tier. The Gigantamax form is really, really scary. I don't think it's quite A tier because it is still a super frail Pokemon despite its increased HP. Uh, I feel like Butterfree can go along in C tier. Uh, it's able to click like Rage Powder and stuff, but I, I genuinely think Butterfree is only really good next to a Dusclops. It's more of a way of setting up Trick Room uh, than an offensive Pokemon. I've seen some Quiver Dance sets. It just, it just doesn't work, guys. Don't try it. Pikachu, you are sitting in solid C tier. I feel like just paralyzing everything on the field. If you can get one, one of his moves off and there aren't any Electric types in the field... Uh, on your opponent's side, then it is devastating. Their team speed has been cut in half. Like, half of their team has half of its speed now. And that is super, super, super powerful. Raichu, I think, is actually a really solid pick right now. Uh, it has access to Faint, Fake Out, it has a Lightning Rod, which is really, really good for supporting things like Gyarados. The only thing I can't really support uh, Gyarados from is Stalwart Thunderbolt or Stalwart Max Lightning. So I feel like... Um, I feel like Raichu can sit solidly in, in C tier as well. Um, and the way I'm ranking these Pokemon is based on like the overall use in their niche. So like Butterfree is okay as something to help get Trick Room up as a redirection Pokemon. Raichu is okay as a fake out Pokemon, a nuzzle spreader. Charizard is an A tier because of its massive damage output, but I'm not ranking these guys on their damage output. It's, it's more just within their niches. Bioplume, I feel like, sits solidly in C tier. It's only really good next to Torkoal. However, I, I feel offensively it doesn't do much. It's just another Sleep Powder user, so I feel like it sits pretty comfortably next to uh, Butterfree in that case. Butterfree has more accurate Sleep Powders. It doesn't really have to run like Wide Lens or anything to make sure it lands them. Uh, but the reason it sits in C tier next to Butterfree is like literally just because they're about as viable as each other in my opinion. Of course, this thing can also after you Torkoal's eruption and at that point, it just kind of gives everyone the chills. Despite how hot that move is, I get the chills thinking about it. Just the damage it puts out. Next up, we have Doug Trio. 
Arcanine. Arcanine, I feel like we can put him at A tier. It's been, like, most people thought Arcanine was, you know, it was just okay. Intimidate made it so it was, you know, pretty good as a support Pokemon. But then as we saw Sleep Powder users like Butterfree and Vileplume pop up more in the meta, uh, access to Safeguard really put it over the top. I think it's a solid A tier Pokemon. Uh, Gengar, I feel comfortable putting at C. This thing can be pretty dangerous with a Choice Scarf. Um, it's also able to Destiny Bond and Taunt Pokemon, I believe. Kingler... The Gigantamax Pokemon, at least I'm talking about when they're going to be legal, were Pokemon like this, where we're pretty sure they're not going to be legal at any point during the season. I'm going to keep them as not legal. You. You are an interesting one. I will... Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Oh. Ho -ho. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to do it? Am I... Do I... Do I make a statement? Or do I... Or do I follow the crowd? I, I think I want to make a statement. You did it, bud. You got him. The reason I'm putting him in C tier is just the ability to block abilities is so, so powerful. It's it's like a more powerful mold breaker. Uh, the only thing is it also affects your team, so you have to be really careful with that. Uh, you're able to stop Intimidates from, you know, hitting things like Moxie Gyarados. You're able to stop Prankster Pokemon from having priority on their moves. This thing is like Whimsicott's worst nightmare. You! I... I'm going to put you in, in D tier. Uh, the reason I think Mr. Mime is... I, or here's the thing. Um, you're not legal. But the reason I think Mr. Mime is in D tier and not C tier uh, is because the Evie Light set, yeah, it's good for removing screens. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's decently bulky. But it's like, it doesn't matter how like bulky you are. You're still an Ice Psychic type. And Durant destroys you. Excadrill destroys you. So many things just KO this thing. Like, it's really just good as saying like, hey, Gyarados. Hey, what's up? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And if it has a max airstream, it's dead anyway. So, you know, who cares? Gyarados, get up there, bud. You king. Can we all get a moment for King Gyarados, actually? This boy. I feel like we can put him pretty solidly in B tier. Um, and the reason I think this is because, like, just... The, it's it's Aurora Veil. It's free Aurora Veil for attacking. And it can Perish Song. It's one of the best Perish Song users in the format. I think it's the best Perish Song user in the format. So... Yeah, Icy Wind's good for speed control as well, and you could even run something like Thunderbolt for coverage. I got destroyed by a weakness policy one of these, and it was disgusting. Now, we all thought Gigantamax Snorlax would be a menace this season. We all thought it was going to be busted. But to be honest, it's kind of underwhelming. You have to make a decision with this thing. Do you want to Gigantamax and lose Facade, meaning that you're vulnerable to burns, you're vulnerable to uh, just having your damage cut in half by a single Will-O-Wisp? Uh, and you get destroyed by foul play anyways because you have poo poo garbage defenses and just great hp um i, I feel like for that reason i i want to throw him in like c tier i want to throw both of these boys in c tier i feel like we can throw umbreon in c tier uh and the reason i'm throwing umbreon in c tier is because it has access to yawn it's one of the bulkiest pokemon in the format foul play is disgustingly strong and it also still gets snarl so this thing has like every tool you need to invalidate Gigantamax Pokemon. This thing, if it had unaware, if this Pokemon had unaware, Gigantamax Pokemon wouldn't be, it wouldn't be anything to it. Hitmontop, welcome to C tier, bud. You're, dude, what, what's happening to B tier? Um, it's, it's so empty. There are two Gigantamax Pokemon in there and they just kind of, they kind of work. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so the reason I'm putting Hitmontop up here is because it's a it's a pretty good fake out Pokemon. Um, wide, it's able to switch in on and take a hit from Weakness Policy Dynamax right here, which is kind of huge. Uh, it's it's just a really nice Pokemon overall. So yeah, Tyranitar. All right, we're throwing this boy in A tier. There's no way Tyranitar is not A tier. Weakness Policy. It has a defense boost from the Sand. It's able to double its HP. It's Welcome. it's. I disgusting. think you did it. I think you did it. You're the next B tier. I want to put you in A tier as like the best trick room setter maybe yeah all right you know what you're the best trick room setter mm, yeah mm, yeah uh we're gonna make an adjustment your c tier i'm just realizing how i'm just realizing how like um how bad gigantamax butterfree is yeah your c tier and dusclops is stupidly bulky there's like nothing in the format that can one shot it specs dragapult with shadow ball no Life Orb, Dragapult with Phantom Force? No. Life Orb, Max Phantasm? No. There's some ways to dunk on it, like double Rock Slide flinches, but 
yeah, it usually has a fake out Pokemon next to it to get its Trick Room off. At that point, it's able to spread Will-O-Wisp to get consistent damage off with Nightshade. Uh, it's able to haze away stat changes. It's pretty much what Corsola should have been, just this guy doesn't have recovery beyond Pain Split. Now you, you my friend, Rhyperior, welcome! For the first time in like what, like six formats? You are now eight here. Congratulations, this thing is disgustingly good, guys. Like, you just have to, like, get your weakness policy off. You just, you Dynamax, you weakness policy, you do your Bulldoze, BS, and it does disgusting damage. If you get a max rock fall off, not only do you get a free kill, but you also get the special defense boost with it. It is a, it is a beautiful Pokemon in this format, and I like to think about it before I fall asleep to give me good dreams. Welcome, friend. You did it. A tier. I feel like I need to zoom out a little bit. Let me... That helps quite a bit. That helps quite a bit. Sorry if it messed with the visuals, but I finally zoomed out. Welcome to A tier. Togekiss is really, really good. I recently discovered Crit Togekiss, which is hilarious. Um, it has access to Air Slash, which it can turn into Max Airstream and become a menacingly strong Pokemon. Uh, on top of that, it's able to run so many items. Babiri Berry, Pinch Berries, Weakness Policy, Scope Lens, and the redirection on Follow Me next to things like Dragapult. Mm, beautiful. The Rotom forms are pretty interesting. I already I already sentenced this guy to the D tier, but uh, I feel like Rotom Heat is a solid B tier, possible C tier. Um, I, I think we have to throw him in C tier because he does get upshone by Rotom Bow, uh, but Rotom Heat is a solid Pokemon. It's a nice fire type with Overheat. It's able to Will-O-Wisp. It's able to Volt Switch out and Timer Stall with the Volt Switch mechanics, how you, have, you get more time to pick the Pokemon you want to send in, and its Thunderbolts are pretty strong. It's a decent Dynamax Pokemon as well, so I feel like a solid C tier, though they generally are run like super fast, like modest max speed, timid max speed. Rotom Mo, bulky Pokemon, our best grass type, king. He is king of the Rotoms now. I love you. Let me give you a little kiss, Rotom Mo. Regular Rotom. Get out. Rotom Wash. Hey, man, welcome to, uh, welcome to B tier. Yeah. Uh, so Rotom Wash is pretty cool. It's a bulky water type. It gets access to uh, some pretty powerful hydro pumps and uh, max geysers as well as max lightning. It's, 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 it's a solid pick for a Dynamax Pokemon and a really nice support Pokemon. You can run Thunder Wave, you can run Will-O-Wisp. It's like any other Rotom, but it gets water moves and it's water type. So it, that makes it better. Gigalith. I feel like it's a C tier Pokemon. People are sleeping on Gigalith right now. Um, the reason I'm throwing him in C tier is and i feel like that's a controversial opinion for some reason throwing gigalith in c tier go back to vgc 2017 you wouldn't say it's controversial at that point but it gets sand force which makes it a really really strong dynamax pokemon you don't have to run sandstream on this guy because you can dynamax him give him a weakness policy and get a max rock fall off while also boosting your uh while also boosting your attack stats from taking a uh super effective hit and under trick room its max rock falls do stupid damage because of sand force. It boosts steel, ground, and rock type moves with sand force. What other moves do you run on Gigalith other than earthquake, iron head, rock slide, stone edge, and maybe explosion? Like, you are, you are set. It is a beautiful Pokemon when it Dynamaxes. Not as good as Rhyperior, but still. Mm. Excadrill. I feel like Excadrill is a solid B tier. Um, I'm tempted to go A tier. I really am tempted to go, eh, we'll go A tier. The reason I'm throwing him in A tier is because he's like our best ground type. Like, yeah, you're good, but he's like our best fast ground type. It works excellent next to Tyranitar and it's able to be a very threatening, it, it surprisingly was able to be a very threatening Dynamax Pokemon with weakness policies and assault vest. It becomes really, really bulky because of its high HP stat. So it, it's kind of good. It's kind of good. I feel like it's really good actually. And with Mold Breaker, you can hit both of these guys with Earthquake. So it, it's, it's a good Pokemon. Conk. Uh, I feel like Conkler belongs in B tier. Um, it has access to Mach Punch, which is really, really good in this format. And with Flame Orb, it is really strong. Guts will allow it to do disgusting damage. The reason it doesn't make A tier, in my opinion, is because Ball Guy won't give me my stupid Flame Orb. Whimsicott, A tier for sure. Oh my god. Whimsicott is like the best fairy type in the format, probably. I, I don't know. I have to zoom out again. Th this list is getting big. I have to do this now. I have to do this. I have to zoom out quite a bit. Well, what do? All right, let's 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 go with this. You guys can still see the list. 
So the reason Wimscott's amazing is because we now have new speed mechanics that makes it so it's instant tailwind with Prankster also instantly boosts the speed of the partner Pokemon where in previous generations it the partner Pokemon would have to protect and then it would have double speed. And that is really, really threatening now, especially with uh, Pokemon like Charizard who can take advantage of that speed and go for a max flare and even just go for a max airstream while the Wimscott sets up the sun with sunny day. It's such a good Pokemon. It gets taunt does all these incredible things and it's still able to be a threat to Dragapult despite not investing that much in special attack in this format. Ferrothorn, solid C tier Pokemon. People say Ferrothorn's bad in like every generation, but it still wins tournaments. So don't, come on guys, don't, don't tell me Ferrothorn's bad. It still wins tournaments. I am sorry, Wolf, for what I must do. You know, you, people gave Wolf a lot of crap on his tier list because he was making some jokes on there, throwing some things in tiers they didn't belong. Uh, because, like, the VGC community got mad at him because he, was, he wasn't he was educating his viewers properly. And then he, the people started ripping on him for making content for casual Pokemon players. Stop it. Like, I, I get it that maybe some new players will misunderstand the joke and take it as fact. But c come on, guys. You're the reason Alpha Rad doesn't love us anymore. Take things way too seriously. Uh, Braviary, I'm tempted to put into B tier, but it also might stay in C tier. It also might stay in C though. Um, this one's actually one of the tougher ones. I feel comfortable putting you in B tier. If these guys are in B tier, you're definitely you're definitely in B tier too. It's really strong as a Dynamax Pokemon because Max Airstreams boost its team speed, and it's also got Stab on them, and it gets Defiant. So if you go for like a Max Phantasm or a Max Flutterby or anything that lowers stats, this thing is going to destroy you, and you can't intimidate it either. So it's 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 a great Pokemon. C tier is really big. I feel like C tier should be split in half between good C tier and bad C tier. <laughs> but like bad C tier is nowhere as bad as like D tier. Golisopod. Don't take that as fact. Uh, regular Grimmsnarl, I want to put into B tier. It's a great Pokemon. Solid B tier. It's able to spread paralysis. Uh, it's able to go for foul plays, darkest lariats. Uh, Spirit Break is an amazing move. And it's got fake out coverage. It gets screens. It gets priority screens. That's what puts it above... Uh, that's what that's what puts it above Sableye, to be honest, but it's still Like they still have different things they can do Sableye still finds a use on teams But Grimmsnarl is more useful on pretty much uh, like 90% of the teams or indeedy female. I want to put in C tier uh, Indeedy male. I also want to put in C tier. I almost put indeedy in B tier, but uh, that's just for like follow me shenanigans I genuinely don't feel like indeedy female deserves the B tier moniker because like a tier is like wow these guys are on like every team b tier is like when you're like on teams you're just a solid pick four teams so i just kind of threw you there and c tier is like they they work right they work but they aren't amazing i might even throw lucario down yeah lucario's not that great the fish might go to b tier you know i the fish is going to b tier it's it's really easy to spam Arctivish, you will be great soon, my friend, when the slush rush awakening happens. Welcome to D tier, though. And I think my last two B tiers are going to have to be Duraludon and uh, Dragapult. Like, Dragapult's got an amazing speed stat, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's A tier like these mons. Uh, yeah, it's it's just it's just a nice offensive mon. It isn't incredible. But yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like this is a decent list. Um, let me go through it real quick and see if there's any... Let me, let me go through it, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. This list is perfect. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I really appreciate all your support on my videos recently. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video at any point in time. I really appreciate it. That's going to get me... Leave a like if you enjoyed this video at any point in time. I really appreciate it. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Answer my comment question of the day if you haven't already, which is what do you think about this tier list that I've made? Do you disagree? Do you agree? What Pokemon do you think should be higher or lower? Go ahead and comment that down below. Uh, if you want to send me your own tier list, you can do so via my Discord channel, which is linked in the description, or my Twitter page, which is linked in the description. Uh, be sure to follow me on all my social media, including my Twitch channel, which is also in the description. Everything's in the description, guys. Just, just check it out once in a while. And subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content, which I release pretty much every day. Thank you to my Patreons for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me fund my tournament travel plans and helps me just stay afloat because I have like no hours at work anymore. And by supporting me on Patreon, you get access to exclusive perks, such as seeing your team used in a video or live stream, seeing your name at the end of my videos, and getting access to my exclusive Patreon team building live streams. All of that information on the Patreon is going to be linked in the description down below or in the card at the end of the video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. You're amazing. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video.
ไป